Right, we are back again with a new video, and this time it's a replay. With actually one of my subscribers that I'm not fully familiar with. Um, most of the duels I've done with people that are subscribed are those of whom I've met. Not met, but talked to online. Um, so this should be interesting. And it's definitely fun, even looking at the chat in here, it was definitely a fun duel. Um, a lot of fun. So let's just click play and click fast forward. I'll pause parts when I need some explaining and stuff. In general, this is just setting up the field. Uh, and then we move on to the actual duel. So we did two, best two out of three. First two rounds were the game. And then the second round was a bit of fun. Um, so I open up with Satin King and... One second, I'm just going to pause here. So I open up with Satin King and Drago and Palm Sized. I then activate Magical Stream. So I believe one of these is milled, yeah, the Drago is milled, the Stray was the Tribute. Then also we have these two. Um, I can't, I guess we'll find out in a second. They went up for Spell Archer, Piercing and thing, which is a bit of a hand slim combo, I guess, to slim the hand a bit. Because uh, they went first. Apart from that, I can't think of much. They set three cards, so they set Piercing, uh, Sparks, and Luminous. Pretty expansionary. Uh, let's move on forward. So actually with these two, we go for the Ruler, the Yam Ruler. The brand new card released, I think, today or yesterday. And Jesus, this... If you want to run Satin King, I highly recommend this card. Purely because it stops most of the problems Satin King runs into. Uh, quite simply, it stops the opponent from summoning roads, and it stops them from summoning things like blue eyes or uh, blue eyes or drag ears. So that just makes it a lot harder for my get over there. You're second king, and it also means the only card in the game so far that's been announced that can get over a second king on their turn that's level six or lower is Flame Guardian, which is a lot better. Which, which makes Sand King, in my opinion, a lot better. Because you do need a tribute. Because you can even wait till your next turn afterwards to get Sand King off. And also attack with Yami a lot. And the only way they can get around it is Torna and uh, Blessing. So either if you go for Sand King first and then attack at the same turn. Or if you go for Sand King second and hope you just make sure they've got nothing. And then you go for it. Either way, you're pretty open with your, your plays. Um, which is quite good. Um, they go for the Hydro, they destroy my uh, Misty Deal, that was kind of a basic opening uh, for me. However, I believe I did that in terms of trying to get yeah, Dark Liberation off. So we have Sand King, quite simply, yeah. Very simple win. Sand King did really well that game. Uh, they're running a basic uh, road deck as far as I'm aware. Not the starter deck, deck by far, um, but definitely basic enough. Because uh, it's things that like piercing. So it's a, it's, it's a basic deck, but you know, nothing major. So they tribute for two of them. I think this hand was a lot weaker for me. And definitely relied a lot more on. I think. Are they, was it this game or the next game? I can't remember. This game relied, I think, a bit more on a couple of misplays on their part. Um, I did a couple of misplays myself. But I believe at this point, I did a couple things. That were, yeah, I did. I sacrificed the Dark Souls for. To make a better play for my turn. Um, so when it came to attacking me the next turn. I'd be able to destroy them. As you'll see. No. So I go for the four cards. And put back the deck. So that was pretty simple. Um, so yeah. I didn't end up recording this game. Live. As you can see now. I'm doing a replay. So one second. Let me just pause that. Then explain what's going on. Uh, that's. Is that paused? Yes, apparently it is. Right, so in short, I liberationed them. They, I don't think, had anything much they could do. Also, they, they, I liberationed them. My turn, summon... Uh, Misty Dealer, Panthers Drago. Go for the tributes. Also, no, I tribute for Torn Off with Panthers Drago. Is that right? No, Panthers discard. It was... Uh, sorry. Missy Dealer was the tribute. Then we go for that. In short, it's a very simple 
It's kind of a simple play. Um, <coughs> they tribute, I presume, the end game, I presume because they brought Tan and did not make the play. If not, fair play. Um, it, taking that L was kind of, you fair enough. I believe this game they won. Um, I'm <laughs> literally happened like five minutes ago, and I'm already forgetting. Uh, but they go for piercing, uh, double piercing, sorry, and blessing. So I take a straight three thousand, and I also take two hundred here. So yeah, that's not good. And fifteen hundred more, which is even worse. So yeah, I'm definitely trying to go a bit more on. I'm definitely going to scale a lot more on the defensive than the last two games. I was more offensive. So that's interesting. However, with this, I go for Dark Liberation. However, I go for a bit late. I could have went for it here, but I went for it here with the Wolf Farm. Uh, and I don't know why. I was pre it was a pretty bad decision on my part. I would have had those extra life points and made things a bit safer for me. I believe, actually, in the final call of the game, I would have survived if I did that. But we went for the Mystic Daily here, 2,600. Uh, still not great. I believe I survived this turn by going for that. And then, obviously, we go for the... So I barely survived this turn, basically. And, yeah, after this turn, I kind of bricked hand and kind of hold, had to hope to... They wouldn't get anything. Unfortunately, they did. They got Torna and Piercing, which was way more than enough to win game. And they could have done it with Wolf Arm. They didn't even... Uh, well, actually, they wouldn't need Wolf Arm. But even Blessing itself would have done it. I think they had Blessing. In short, good game, but that last game I lost fair and square. That was... I bricked... My sanking deck is definitely not best, and I bricked quite hard, so... That's not that's not necessarily great. Um, but suffice to say, Yamuro makes Sand King quite a bit better. Uh, and even better than that, Sand King is getting better. It's, it's not top tier magicians for Rush Duels, but it's definitely not better than what was, say, two days ago. Um, or, I guess, technically three days ago, or whatever. It's, it's better. So that's good. Um... Apart from that, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. But.